Hello everybody, this is Herrick1983, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, Eliath here has a, a side quest for us, so let's uh, talk to him and find out what it is. I am in the middle of a drink, but please stay. I will not have it said that Eliath Kralnova has become rude in his later years. What can I do for you? I wonder if I could ask you some questions. I would be happy to answer any questions from one such as yourself, friend. Ask me what you will. Yeah. Don't worry, Tell me more about yourself. This will work out if yet. you haven't heard much Everything of Eliath Kralnova, I'll certainly not be the one to educate so you. Let the tongues of others on. guide you as they will. It matters not to me. Eh, do you know of anything odd in the area? I cannot say that I do. I have frequented Port Last often in the past, but this time I have only uh, just arrived from Waterdeep. If there are things afoot, I have not. I have yet to hear of them. Oh, what are you doing here, then? Not that it's a, truly any of your business, but I am seeking passage to Evermeet. The way is closed to me, however, and seeking an alternative, alternative route is proving difficult. What is this Evermeet you mention? Evermeet is an island that has become the home and refuge of the elven folk since Queen Amla Ruil moved the court there. I am surprised you have not heard of it. It is a wondrous and beautiful place. If you have never seen it, I myself have not gazed upon its forest for a very long time now. As I said, however, Ever Evermeet is close to the likes of Eli Eliath Kralnober. Evermeet is close to you. Why is that? Obviously, I am one of the elven folk, and Evermeet is my ancestral home. I was born there, but left long ago. The way back is closed to me Don't because I have not always been the best of men. You see, everything happens for a reason. Smuggling. Does. Thanks so much for helping me, Alhelar. Man, that's so freaking obnoxious. Anyways, smuggling thievery. I have my sins, I admit. I am no longer the reckless youth I once was. However, I have retired from my illegal activities and now am now simply weary and seeking peace. My heart longs to return to Evermeet to show its beauty to my daughter. She has never even seen the homeland of her peop own people, you see, and I have promised to take her there one day, though that may prove an impossible task. Please continue. The one way I may have to return home is through the construction of a ceremonial scepter, gifted to an official in Luthelspar. It is a bribe of sorts, but an old and cultural one, and the requirements are very specific. The scepter must be adorned with five separate gems cut by an elven master craftsman. Difficult to find in Faerun, to say the least. Two of the gems I have. The final three I have tracked to this area, but sadly their owners are loath to part with them for any price. Without them, I cannot complete the scepter, and neither I nor my daughter will ever return to Evermeet. A fitting fate for me, perhaps, but cruelly unfair worry, to her. Andrew, so what do you intend to do? I intend to get those gems, with or without Thanks the owner's so permission. Me, I will not give up on my quest now, not when I am so close. I may just have to hire someone to get them for me, but whatever means necessary. Underhanded, perhaps, but I have few options left. Perhaps I could help? Hmm, to get the task done would require someone with skill at stealth and guile. I'm not positive you are the man for the job. I could get the job done, I assure you. Okay, I'll keep um, keep going through this uh, cycle here until I finally get him to say yes. Alright, that didn't take yet. too long. Alright. Eh, I'd expect some so kind of payment up front if you want me to do this. Damn. All right, but, but yeah, if you have trouble getting him to do it, just keep trying, and he'll eventually, uh, he'll eventually succeed. But uh, all right, so uh, very well, Eliath. I shall help you recover the gems. Good. I was beginning to think I would encounter nobody willing and capable of doing this for me. Let me tell you exactly what you must search for. The three gems are small, the size of a fingernail, but elegantly carved with many delicate facets. They are light-hued, but will have something vaguely dark in their center. One of the gems is in the possession of Wanev, a local wizard. I suspect the gem is secreted away in his tower, which can be found in the grasslands between Port Last and Charwood. The tower gates are magically locked, and I do not know how they can be opened. Here, I have a key. I have acquired a key that was to that I was told will open Wanev's cottage here in Port Last. It's near the eastern gate and may have some information that will allow access to the tower. One of has not been in the cottage, cottage for some time, but still, I bid you caution. Worry, young Ander, this Another gem is held by a fierce warrior and woman named Zimithra, who passed Thanks through so several days ago. I believe she said she was bound for Luskin, but she certainly could have been lying. The third I have learned is held by Satara, a witch who dwells within the Neverwinter Wood, to the east of here. Contacting her has proven to be quite difficult. I wish I had more information to go on. Hopefully, however, this shall prove enough. I wish you the best of luck. Alrighty then. And that is the last side quest I intend to pick up right now, so let's go. Alrighty, um, uh, okay, starting looting. Yeah, let's start up here. Come on, Sherman. Fall in behind me here. I already got the well. Alright. Let's grab this chest. 
or not. 17 bullets in the fountain. Done and done. Thieves tools and wine. Alrighty. Let's uh yeah. Let's talk to her. Welcome to the shop, as I like to say. I am Eltura Subtil, and a finer collection of wares you are not apt to find. Okay, slightly different than what's printed there, but <laughs> but yes, Eltour has followed us, stalker. Anyways, but yeah, in order to uh, you know do business with her, you have to have something called a reagent. What is a reagent? It's basically anything like an ingredient that we kind of that we used for uh, forging the uh, the weapons and armor in uh, Chapter One with Merrick. Uh, like you know, where is it? See, uh, Fire Beetle's belly, Bodak's tooth, Rakshasa's eye, Slad's tongue, Skeleton knuckles, some quartz crystal, Fenberry's fairy dust, and yada yada yada. But uh, I don't, well, I do have them, but I don't really have any use for talking to her yet. Uh, she will be giving us a side quest eventually, but not right now. But we can still loot her place. What do we got? Uh, Religions of the Sword Coast, and the Ruins of Illisk. Uh, when by the fireside. Spell and Rise and Fall of Netheril and Water Deep. That was a good book, Water Deep. Written by, uh, well, co written by Ed Greenwood and Elaine Cunningham. I'd probably say, yeah, two of my favorite authors of the Forgotten Realms. Actually, Elaine Cunningham is probably my favorite. Uh, the last, uh, I, let's put it this way, after I read this one last book that was written by her, I I just can't get into any more Forgotten Realms books. It was so freaking... it pulled me in so much, like, emotionally, to the characters. It, I am convinced that if that... if they were to ever make another, you know, if they were ever to make a Forgotten Realms movie, that would be the one to make it. I mean, it's... I know, a lot of people would say, nah, Dritz would be bring in more money. Well, yeah, but that's just because of his name. But I've read the Dritz books. I've read, read uh, you know, the first three of the, the series. And they just don't compare in terms of, you know, uh, uh, you know, sympathizing with the characters as much as uh, Starlight and Shadows, the, that trilogy by Elaine Cunningham. And I've been, you know, I've been kind of bugging her about, you know, I've been trying to find ways to, uh, you know, help her visual, visualize that movie being on the big screen, because any time the first thing to, uh, to dreaming, uh, to, you know, having a dream come true is, you know, visualizing it, and I, I really do want that, that, I really do want that bo those books made into movies, but, uh, anyways, this book, bookshelf and chest, they're empty, uh, they are used for a particular side quest, so, let's go. But yeah, Starlight and Shadows, I have no idea how many times I've read the, the series. I'm actually Fall reading it again right now. <laughs> so yeah, it's just... Uh, it's just... It uh, it focuses around uh, Lyriel Bainra. So anybody that's familiar with the drow, yeah. It's another part of the reason why uh, I, you know, it'd be a good movie, because it is drow. Well, hello, sir. I don't recognize you. You must be new in these parts. What is an adventurous fellow like you doing in a crap town like this? Well, uh, I don't th didn't think it was such a bad place. What's your name, anyways? You just haven't got to know it yet. Once you spend some time here, you'll really hate it. My name is Sheldrissa. What's yours? My name is Kel Davis, but you may call me Kel. It is a pleasure to meet a beautiful young woman such as yourself. My, a gentleman with manners. That is a rare find in a dump like this. What is it that you hate about this town so much? Are you kidding? This is just a small town with small-minded people. If I have to stay here, I'll end up a grumpy old maid with nothing to enjoy in life. A young woman with a sharp mind needs adventure, and a powerful man to protect her. That is very interesting. What else does a woman like you need? A woman like me needs comforting, d d comforting desire, wealth, and power. I can't believe I'm being so open with you. You make my head spin. I, I feel overwhelmed just being so close to you. What do you think? Would you have a room for a determined young woman in, to follow and uh, assist you? I would love to have you along. Why don't you go get your weapons and armor and meet me out front? Weapons and armor? I don't have, an, have any. 
Could you lend me 1,000 gold that I could get some? Okay, 1,000 gold sounds reasonable. Actually, that probably won't cover all the stuff I'm gonna need. Better make that 2,000. Well, I suppose I could give you 2,000. Of course, that won't cover all my debts. 3,000 ought to do the trick, though. I think I've had enough of this. Have a good life. No, you good for nothing, jerk. Get away. <laughs> yeah, another play at humor, but alright. Let's continue looting. Uh, but yeah, uh, to finish off what I was saying about uh, Starlight and Shadows, they were the first Sorry. books that actually made me cry like a baby. I mean, the ending of it. Oh, man. It was perfectly ended. I mean, it's... Fair enough. It's bittersweet, but it is so perfect. And just the way Elaine Cunningham writes the... just writes it, it's, uh... Done and done. Instant fan. But, uh, anyways, Cure Series Wounds, that'll definitely come in handy. And this is the temple, that's where the, uh... Stone of Recall, which does work again... does work now, uh... will bring you. Should, uh, Sharwin ever die. Or All in any henchman, really. Fair enough. Alright, let's keep looting. Fair enough. Hey, Solomon. What's he following me for? What's up, bud? Look, I think you'd better stop looking into this cult business. Uh, give me one good reason not to look into the cult. You said never winter. You're the big hero, everybody loves you. Why gamble all that way? The odds aren't in your favor anyway. Uh, thanks for the advice, I'll keep it in mind. You are such a fool. That ring I gave you, the cult has been tracking you with it this entire time. Consider yourself warned, hero. <laughs> well, sounds like he was quite the jerk after all. Make me think I got a fan. Fall in behind me here. Ah, well, yeah, that's part of the uh, <laughs> the main story there. So. so It actually randomly happens depending on where you are. Uh, sometimes it'll happen, you know, in the Alliance arms. Some, it, it just happens randomly, so... You may not have that happen, happen to you just yet, but it should. Three gold. It has to happen to in order to uh, progress the story, I believe, so. Done and done. Yeah, three gold piece and more. Damn it, Sherman. Fall in behind me here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Jeez, even locked that small thing. Seven gold. Oh, Sherwin, Sherwin, Sherwin. Fair enough. Oh, come on, get on the freaking. There we go. Fair enough. Done and done. Oh. oh. Oh, I can't even identify that. All right. Fall in behind me here. Yeah, I wonder if the Ring of Insight will help me out on that one. I'll check it out when I'm ready to sell it, though. Until then, more looting. Yeah, we can't go in these barns. I don't think so. I won't bother trying. I don't think any. I don't think you can get into any of them here. So, the houses are another matter, though. Hey, rubble. Barney rubble. No. Uh, War of Light and Darkness. Alright. Yeah, you can you get to... Hey, bundles. Oh, what's this? Ooh, pretty. What does it say? This sign explains that this monument was built to commemorate the founding of Port Last. The eternally glowing lights serve to welcome visitors to the town. Oh, cool. Tourist attraction. Who would have thought? <laughs> 16 gold pieces. Done and and done. another gem. Alright. Fall in behind me here. Fair enough. Alright, let's grab these hay bundles, and I think that's where I'll cut it off for this episode. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get it all done, but, you know, the extra time, you know, spent on unlocking stuff and uh, travel time and Solomon showing up, yeah. 
All right, so I guess that's all the time I have for this episode. So the next episode, well, I, I guess we don't have that much left to loot, so we'll probably finish that off. And then we'll start picking away at one of the uh, side quests. Which one is it? Well, I guess you'll have to find out next time. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.